Hello, this is James. So, yesterday we all got Yubel, Terror Incarnate, the second form of our beautiful and terrifying Dragon Hermaphrodite Yubel. So, we're all itching for a deck to use this second form. Let us build. So, we're going to be making use of the inherent destruction effects of the Fire King cards. And what we have right here is going to be the core of our deck, and I think the core of a lot of decks that are going to be using Yubel. So, Fire King Avatar Yaksha. If this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can destroy one card in your hand or that you control. You can only use this effect once per turn. And Fire King Island, it has two effects. You can only choose one of them to use during any of your turns. With respect to Yubel, what we're worried about is during your main phase, you can destroy one monster in your hand or that you control. And if you do, add one Fire King monster from your deck to your hand. So you can get the search and the destroy. And the, and the destroy is crucial. Now Yubel, they don't have to be on the field. The card merely needs to be destroyed in order to inflict their scorn upon the opponent. So, if Yaksha gets destroyed, you can destroy Yubel. If Fire King Island gets its effect off, you can destroy Yubel. And from the graveyard, you can activate their effect and special summon Yubel Terra Incarnate from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Another good Fire King to use is Fire King Avatar Barong. When Barong is destroyed, it searches during your next standby phase and that's mostly going to be searching for your Fire King Islands so that you can't just destroy your Yubel. Uh, we're going to do one of him and then we're going to do we're going to do some Karibo. Uh, since we're using Fire King Island, so th there's only two winged beasts that we can special summon with the second effect of Fire King Island. One is Hazy Flame Manticore, which is fine. But we're, we're going to go with Sacred Phoenix of Nephthys. Keeps your opponent's back row in check. A, a, a beautiful cycle of rebirth and destruction. And since I only have one, we're also going to do two Card of the Soul. And actually I find that this, that this works out. Going either first or second, having Card of the Soul is as good as having a Sacred Phoenix of Nephthys. Because you just search it. Uh, we're also going to do two Treacherous Trap Hole, which I didn't even use. I'm just trying to go with the theming of the deck. Treacherous Trap Hole can be used against your Fire King Yaksha in case, say, it's going to get banished. If it's not going to get destroyed, if it's going to get banished, you can hit your own Yaksha with a Treacherous and and destroy it and get the attendant Fire King effects. And what, what are we going to do with the last two spots? We're going to do two, the Calculator, uh, the Calculator, because we have all these high-level monsters that we're essentially special summoning, Calculator is going to get very, very huge. Alright, let us begin our replays. Okay, so we're going second against the My Valentine. I think these, these first couple, are, they're just normal uh, Fire King, Fire King beatdown business. So we have a Soul, we have Fire King Island, we have Yaksha, and we just draw into the Nephthys. So we set the Soul as a bluff. We're gonna go Fire King Island, because we see all that back row, so we're gonna eliminate our opponent's value immediately with the with the Nephthys. And then we're gonna normal summon and we're gonna hit this. Ooh, oh my god, oh it's Gladiator Beasts. Hey! Oh, that's fun. I haven't seen them in a while. Okay, so Gladiator Beast Bestiari hits the back row and then does not attack because I think this Gladiator Beast, they must be remembering the old days, because if you destroyed the Yaksha, Yaksha destroyed Fire King Island, and then the Nephthys got to come out scot-free. If the Fire King Island leaves the field, it, all of your monsters get destroyed. So they don't target anything with the, with the Birdman. Sacred Phoenix comes out, gets floodgated, that's perfectly fine, and the opponent's plan was imperfect, so Nephthys destroyed the Fire King Island, and then went back, not affected by Floodgate. Back row is cleared of the Gladiator Beasts. Ooh, and, okay, so what happened there was our Yaksha was, dis was destroyed by the Fire King Island effect. We got to special summon the Barong, and then we normal summoned our other monster. Very good. Okay, we're going first against the Dragon Person themselves. Power of Dark. We have the Calculator, we have the Sacred Phoenix, and we have Yubel Terror Incarnate. So we're going to use Fire King Island to just special summon the Winged Beast because we control no monsters. Chaos Hunter, 
uh, is special summon. We have a set, and we have a set, and this is the worst case in there. Oh, and then we discard the Terror Incarnate with the Dark World Dealings, because there's uh, we can special summon it from the graveyard. No sweat. So this is the worst case scenario for Sacred Phoenix. If it gets destroyed by battle, it doesn't get to come back. And this is why you want to run multiple. Uh, we're going to Destiny draw for that dragon person. Uh, so this is this is great synergy. So we destroy the Ubel like we want, and we get to search a Barong for our trouble. U Ubel brings out the Terror Incarnate, uh, and then we're going to Normal Summon. So, the reason I normal summon the Brong is because when it's destroyed by Terra Incarnate, we get to search, we get to deck thin, and we're going to add another Fire King Island. I'm thinking about this, this, right here. Uh, this Archfiend Emperor First Lord of Horror destroying our, uh, our Ubel Terra Incarnate with its effect not touching it whatsoever, but with Fire King Island, we have, we have some hope. So we're, we're looking at this back row. Is it the Archfiend Trap card? Oh, and that top deck. We top deck the Dragon Person. Uh, we throw her with Fire King Island. So what I was anticipating was that uh, Archfiend Emperor would hit the Fire King Island and then we would have to replace it. That did not happen. Uh, we get to destroy Ubel. And Normal Summon. The Calculator, who attacks for game. This time we're going first against Thixizu Thishtar. Uh, Prescience, so she can see all everybody's cards, and she can see, and she can't see a big nice brick that we just drew. Uh, fortunately, we have we have kind of a slow play going on, so we set the Treacherous. Gravekeepers, Oracle, Tributed, and gets huge, and a Recruiter Search. Getting her own old-timey synergy on, and a search for a Gravekeeper's Chief. Direct attack for 2300. That lets us Destiny draw. We're going to go into that. Fire King Island. No Cosmic Cyclone. Excellent. Fire King, destroy the Ubel. Search the Barong. Ubel special summons Terra Incarnate from the hand. Terra Incarnate destroys the Gravekeeper's Oracle. And this is it. All Gravekeepers have is fast and hard attack power, and that is exactly what Terra Incarnate is designed to defeat. So we're just gonna get some chip damage with Barong. He gets destroyed by his own ally, Barong, during our standby phase, not when it's destroyed. During the standby phase, Barong gets the search. So we search the Yaksha. We're gonna set that card of the soul, because it's not good for us anymore. Ubel destroys the Yaksha and the Scoop because, again, no win condition for the Gravekeepers. Okay, so we are going first against Ubel. We have a Soul, we have a Nephthys, we have everything we need. We have Ubel, and then I'm going to make the decision. We're going to go into turn one, Terror Incarnate, and clear the opponent's field of, uh, of monsters. And this is very suspicious. The opponent is not playing any monsters, is blocking with the Karibos, this is exactly what I would be doing if I didn't have my full combo for a Fire King Ubel deck. So, now no Ubel on hand. Fire, uh, Fire King. Terra Incarnate destroys that Yaksha, and then we go Barong, and then destroys that Yaksha, but Ubel must have drawn into herself previously, and no. So that when that Yaksha was destroyed, it destroyed the Ubel from the hand and then Terra Incarnate from the field. So then, now it's very important, during the, the controller's end phase, that's when Terra Incarnate, that's when Terra Incarnate activates. So a, a, a Terra Incarnate going second wins. So we destroyed the Yaksha, Ubel got Terra Incarnate on our turn and then during their end phase, destroys our Terror Incarnate with its effect. Okay. Uh, Sacred Phoenix comes out, blows away the back row, destroyed by Fire King Island. Now, we use that same combo again. So this is now our Terror Incarnate going second. We play the Yaksha, and then 
Terran Carne destroys it with its effect, and then we get to destroy our Ubel, bring out our Terran Carnate, bring out our Sacred Phoenix, hit that wild T, uh, hits the hits the Phoenix, and then during our phase, our end phase, we destroy the enemy Terra Incarnate, and so that's two Ubels in the bag. Okay, so Fire King Island, destroy. Oh no, that's the second one. Destroy the second Ubel. Search a Yaksha. Ubel is gonna go into. Oh, Terra Incarnate for the second time. Destroy our Terra Incarnate. Uh, Sacred Phoenix of Nephthys. Destroy. Now see weakness. Our Sacred Phoenix destroyed the opponent's Fire King Island, and in doing so, destroyed Ubel Terra Incarnate. Uh, we get to direct attack, but of course, more Kribos. Look at that, look at that swole calculator. Look at that 3,000 attack point calculator. Now, okay, so here, I don't think that Allured by Darkness is a very good skill. Uh, so, activates Allured by Darkness. Phoenix comes out. Now, see, it forced the opponent to destroy, to banish their final Ubel, right? That was the, or they drew the card that they needed, and then they had to banish it by Allured by Darkness. So, it, this is why you don't see many decks using Allured by Darkness, because it's like a, it's like a more awkward, um, it's like a more awkward Crystal Seer. Anyway, Kribo, block the Nephthys attack onto the calculator. The opponent has no more outs, has no more Terra Incarnate, and Yami Yugi is the master of Fire King Island. Thank you for watching.